The man murdered on East Avenue over the weekend was one of the suspects acquitted in the triple murder outside the Boys and Girls Club almost a decade ago. The police won't say if revenge for the Boys and Girls Club murders was the motive. They say, though, it is possible. But they also say it's possible it was a simple argument that was settled with a gun. Police say Michael Mathis was murdered in a parking lot on East Avenue late Saturday night. Chief investigative reporter Berkeley Breen confirmed it's not the first time someone has tried to kill him. Burke? Deanna, since he was found not guilty in the triple murder outside the Boys and Girls Club, Michael Mathis has been stabbed, shot at, and Saturday night killed. Michael Mathis was shot and killed in the parking lot at East Avenue and Union Street. Police don't think Mathis or the shooter had come from any of the East End bars. One of the people Mathis was accused of killing outside the Boys and Girls Club in 2015 was Johnny Johnson. I spoke with his mother on Zoom today. And the fact that it is Michael Matthew will never negate the fact that there will be another and another just like there was from my son Johnny Ray Johnson because there's a failure on the part of this country, this uh, current White House um, is working, but it is not important enough to them to stop the gun violence that is running rampant in our country. We back, we back, my brother back home, we back. In 2016, the Mathis family celebrated after Mathis was found not guilty in the triple murders. Three years later, Mathis survived a stabbing in a bar in Henrietta, and the attacks continued. There was an attempt on Michael Mathis's life right here on Dewey Avenue in 2020, but the bullets from the drive-by shooting missed him and hit an innocent bystander, killing him. That victim was Dakota Podlaski. The shooter was Jeremiah Barley, the brother of one of the three victims of the Boys and Girls Club murders. Since then, we haven't heard about other acts of violence against Mathis until Saturday night. This thing will touch, and it, it will continuously touch everyone and anyone because this is how sick things is getting. Another one of the Boys and Girls Club suspects who was found not guilty was murdered in 2019. Police say they don't have any suspects in the Mathis murder in custody. Deanna?